Hey everybody, Scout Crafty here again. It's uh, Wednesday, midweek Wednesday. Uh, feeling much better. Thank you for uh, all your well wishes from my uh, last video. A uh, couple things to talk about. I was feeling so good last night that I uh, I went for my uh, walk because it was the poor man's flea market. And of course, I saw a couple things. Now I pick up stuff just because I think it'll be fun to show on the channel. Um, let's get right to it. Let me show you what I got because I don't know what half of it is now when i say i don't know what half the items are i only found two items so uh let's start with this i know what this one is i don't know what the other one is uh this here is a uh, a heater and i i find a lot of heaters and i never take them only because you know i don't usually use electric but this one here is a quartz a quartz heater and and quartz heaters are, are really good for drying paint and uh, I like quartz heaters, but they're hard to find if they work, you know, sometimes they don't work. Now, if, if I found this in the summertime, remember what I told you, there's a good chance it would work, but I, it, you know, it's kind of still chilly out. It's in the garage. I don't, I don't know. Did I look these up online? They do have a couple problems. So before I take it apart or anything, first thing I'm going to do is plug it in and see if it works. It might go right in the trash. Worst comes to worse, it has a very good cord. These have very good cords on them because they're electric heaters. So, worst comes to worst, I come away with a cord. But we'll plug it in. It is UL listed. Always look for that. And uh, let's see if it, let's see what happens. I'll plug it in and we'll check okay, it out. Okay, I'm going to plug it in here. Okay, no pops. So that's good. Now it is on zero. I'm going to put on one. Uh, there is a, a temperature here too, but I'll put that towards the middle I won't max it out and I'm just going to hit first one well we got some noise I do have some noise which is good I'm turning the heat up a little bit but I feel it definitely warmth up here I don't see any glowing usually see some kind of glowing let me go to it's two that's number two. Again, I feel heat, but I don't see any light. And let me go to three. Okay, now I'm starting to see some light, some glowing on the top, but nothing on the bottom. I just see it on top. See that? You see the, the glowing on top? But I don't know if this bottom doesn't feel. So, okay, so we know one is working. Let's see. All three of these should be warming up. So I'll give it a second or two and see if these warm okay, up. Okay, I killed this light up here. You can see all three light up. Excellent. Thrown off a nice heat. Okay, now we know that these three work. If, the, if one of the ones, the elements weren't working, I wouldn't. So now what we're going to do is we're going to shut it down. And uh, then we're going to clean it up. These things always look more simpler than they are. Uh, first of all, there was a... A bunch of three-quarter inch screws all the way around that held it on then you have to t take a screwdriver wedge it in here and pop it and then when it pops off you could see here the wiring there's a uh, little wires that are held on to each one on both sides of the quartz and then there's a safety switch on the bottom I think so we're going to unplug each one of those wires here being careful to remember where they go and how they're hooked up you can see that in there and to unplug them uh, basically they're just regular push wires that here if we pull this up hopefully we'll pop those off and then this should come apart okay once we took off the back cover here and you can see there's always some dust and stuff we'll have to clean out there are the switches we had to disconnect I did take a picture to show me which because there are some wires here, you got to make sure you know which way they go. These are pretty much self-explanatory on the on the one side because they're you know right in that vicinity. But sometimes when you have two switches, two wires going to the same area, you got to know which way they go. I always forget. This here down here is a tilt switch. If this unit should tilt over, this switch will cut the power to the unit. That's a safety that's required in all heaters. This is the reflector. What's amazing to me is this whole unit is uh, plastic. I'm sure it's a type of plastic that'll melt before it burns, but still the whole you know unit is mostly plastic except for this reflector here. 
So we're going to take this out because we want to clean behind it. That's that's the problem with this unit. And uh, so we're going to disconnect these now. Now, this is why I had to take this thing apart because you can see the uh, dust and whatever they, that accumulates in a lot of these heaters. And also, we'll take this out. We'll clean it all up with the reflector and also straighten out. This seemed to have a little bend in it. And uh, and it's always good to go over it. Here is, uh, I was telling you about this uh, this switch here, this tilt switch. If you listen, can you hear that? This will work. This will shut off the unit if it tilts in any position. So a lot of times, if you find a heat that don't work, it could be, this is a lot of times is the culprit. They stick. So this one, it's always good to, if even if you wanted to just take this out, if you were going to, you know, if you wanted to switch to, and toss the rest of the uh, the heater, you can take that out, salvage that. Now you have to be very careful with these bulbs because they are fragile and you have to be very careful. You don't want to get a hand oil on them because that will shorten the life of it. So if you do touch the bulb, you have to wipe it down with alcohol or whatever to make sure there's no hand or residual oils on there when this heats up. To get this out of here, uh, you take this side. This side here is just, just passes through like this. Right, you know, what you're going to do is you're going to turn this a quarter turn to the right and you'll hear a click. Okay, and you have to push this down as a safety. And there it goes. Now, that comes out like this. Be very careful. Pull this out. Again, it's a quartz tube. And there you go. Okay. That's, that's what makes this work. And they're very fragile. But they also get dusty. They got to be clean. So, again, quarter turn. There's a little, little safety here. Quarter turn to the right. Push. Push it. Again, I'm putting these in the order they go in. I don't know if there are any difference in wattage. But now we could take this over and vacuum it out and rinse it out and clean it. Okay, we have the reflector nice and clean now. We used some, uh, rinsed it out with water and uh, soap and then cleaned it off with the bonami and uh, this is good to go now once you reinstall the bulbs uh, it's important this is there's isopropyl alcohol on here 90 percent and what we're doing is we wiped it down already with a damp piece of paper towel just to get any dirt or dust off and now any hand oil from me handling it is gotten off with this uh, isopropyl alcohol here and by the time that's all rearranged, that'll all air dry. So they're all cleaned and reinstalled. And we're calling this project done. You can see what we did here. Everything's all nice and clean now. We straightened out the grill that was kind of pushed in a little bit. Uh, cleaned the entire unit. That Bonami does a nice job on on even the, uh, the plastics or whatever this is. Now, when it's plugged in, you'll see there's a little indicator light down here that shows you that it's on now that indicator light is hooked up to the uh, tilt switch so if you don't see that light you're not going to get any heat so let's try it we'll go to low i will cut out this light here okay and uh maybe this one too here and see if we could see anything happening now i could feel the heat it does it's not buzzing like it was before but i can feel the heat on the top one nothing here nothing here that's number one setting. Number two. Okay, now I hear a little bit of buzzing. Uh, number two should fire up the second bulb, but we see the first one is glowing. We'll give it a second to see. It does have a thermostat up here. I have it set to maximum, but uh, now we could have, we have one fired up here. I will check the wattage and we could see the second one starting to come up a little bit it's starting to glow again these quartz heaters they're great because they're a reflective heater this is rated at 1500 watts there we go there's our second bulb lighting up again a nice heat coming out of there now we'll go to the third one here we go third one kicked in now now we have a nice warm this is you know quartz heating is a very comforting heat my mother 
she used to love, I had a quartz heater upstairs, had one long bulb and, and she, she would put that on in front of her and on the coldest of winter nights, it would just be such a soothing warmth because it's almost like a radiant heat, unlike a force fan heat that blows on you and it dries your eyes out and your nostrils. This just feels like you're sitting in front of the sun. And let me tell you, if you have any cats in the house and you turn this on, they will come running and lay down right in front of these heaters. If you've ever had a quartz heater, you know the cats do love them. So here we have all three uh, lights. I just love these heaters. Anybody out there? I've always wanted, and uh, you know, Rob from Gunther's Garage, when we were out uh, at the last Jacktown show, I was looking for one of those old-fashioned copper radiant heating lights. You know what I'm talking about. I've always wanted one of those. I will get one eventually. But uh, but anytime I find a radiant heating light and it works, I mean, come on. You can't beat that for, for the price, right? So there we go. It's very warm in front of you, very relaxing. And uh, this one's in the can. Nice little unit. Okay, the next item I found that I don't know what it is. You see this here? It's a Honeywell. You can see it says Honeywell. And it's some kind of... I'm assuming, and you know what happens when you assume, <laughs> some kind of drop box, and I'll show you what I mean. First of all, the reason I took it is because it came with the keys, and anytime I find a lock with keys, I grab it, you know? So here we have, this is the key for the top here, and you see what this does. This, when you turn that key, it allows this so you could pull it. So this gets maybe attached to the top of a, a safe or something, and this box slides in and then locks in okay so that's the first key now there's a little spring operated push down there right and when you turn this around there's another lock back here and this lock here when you turn the key you could slide this out and you could see what this this has some kind of spring affair on here okay with a spring and so here's what I was thinking. Again, I've never seen one of these before. But what I'm thinking is it's because the only opening is the slot here. So I'm thinking this is some kind of drop box for either envelopes or bills or something. And I'll show you what I mean. Let's say you had, I'm going to use index cards just here. If I drop an index card here like this and drop it down, push it down, it will push it back behind some slots in here i'll show you if i can show you i'm going to drop it in like this and when i push this that little there's a little lever that pushes it between between uh into that other box and i'll show you now i just push those two in here i'll open up the box and there it is the two you see as that there's a little door in there See that little door that pushes forward? And when it pushes forward, it pushes whatever envelopes or bills or something. But I don't know. Is it for bills or envelopes? Is it some kind of drop box? Pretty interesting. <laughs> I mean, if you put this somewhere that you wanted to put some bills in, you, you knock it down. It, it puts it in the back so it can't get held until, I don't know. I grab anything that, that looks interesting. What do you think? Is that what it is? Okay, so in closing, you know, there's something extremely satisfying to me about servicing an item, whether it be lubricating a motor or greasing a chassis or something like that. It's just something that is extremely satisfying. Ever since I was younger, I, I do enjoy that. And um, today is no exception. So uh, this was a fun project. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you again on Friday. Take care now. Bye-bye.